modernized Marine Corps strategy will completely remove the main battle tank from the service. Marine Corps New Force Design 2030 Strategy While armor and lethal firepower will fully disappear from the Corps in the future, the Marine Corps New Force Design 2030 Strategy document calls for a large-scale decrease in force size and a substantial reduction in large armored platforms and heavy helicopters, among other things. The new core strategy will completely remove the main battle tank from the service. Could fast maneuvering Marines use lethal anti armor weapons, dispersed formations, and a large number of networked unmanned systems to exact an effective battlefield effect upon a larger mechanized armored force? Is that even preferable to a larger force armed with tanks, heavy helicopters, and larger numbers of Marines? The commander of the Marine Corps General David Burger told Congress that the answer to this question is a simple yes. While discussing the conceptual impetus for Force Design 2030, Berger makes the point that in a modern battlefield of fast, well-networked maneuverable force that is easily deployable, expeditionary and armed with long-range precision weapons, the future Marine Corps will have no tanks but will rather arm fast, deployable tactical vehicles with highly lethal anti-armor weapons. While there is still debate about the need for a larger corps and the place for large helicopters and even tanks in the service, the large-scale introduction of drones, high-speed, AI-enabled networking, paradigm-changing sensors and precision weapons have changed the tactical equation in a substantial way. Berger said as many as nine force-on-force -force exercises over the past year have confirmed that a smaller, more mobile and more distributed force can prevail if they have, as he put it, organic ISR and loitering munitions. Berger explained that these kinds of formation are actually more lethal than traditional larger units. Sure enough, with modern sensors and long-range weapons, an enemy might be able to attack concentrations of forces or armored vehicles much more easily than had been possible in years past. A smaller, faster and more dispersed, if armed with drones and sufficient amounts of anti-armor weapons and loitering munitions, might also help enable multi-domain operations for a core increasingly preparing for island-hopping kinds of sea land amphibious warfare operations in the future. In this respect, the Force Design 2030 shows great relevance to the Pacific and other coastal island areas. However, Ukraine is showing that perhaps, if used with tactical proficiency, dispersed forces armed with high lethal anti-armor weapons can be quite successful against larger concentrated armor formations. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.